The annals of naval history are defined by vessels that shaped warfare and global security. Among these, a select few stand out as the most produced military ships, leaving an enduring legacy. These ships collectively encapsulate the spirit of innovation, versatility, and strategic impact etched into naval history. So today, let's check out the 10 most produced military ship class in history. In this list, we will not include U-boats, so let's get to it. At number 10 is the Hunt class, which is a class of escort destroyer of the Royal Navy. The first vessels were ordered in early 1939, and the class saw extensive service in the Second World War, particularly on the British East Coast and Mediterranean convoys. The Hunt class destroyers were a response to the need for smaller and more cost-effective escort vessels to protect convoys from German U-boats. Their anti-submarine capabilities were particularly valuable in countering the threat posed by German submarines. They were also involved in various other naval operations during World War II. A total of 86 numbers were built from 1939 to 1943. The Tacoma class the Tacoma class of patrol frigates served in the United States Navy during World War II and the Korean War. The design of the Tacoma class frigates were based on the British River class frigates. They were smaller and less heavily armed than typical destroyer escorts, but they were designed to be more cost-effective and quicker to produce. The primary role of these frigates was to provide protection to merchant convoys from submarine attacks and to conduct anti-submarine patrols. The total planned construction for this ship class is 100 units, but four ships were cancelled in December 1943 and to February 1944, dropping the ultimate total of Tacoma class ships built to 96. At number 8, the Garin class. The Garin class was a series destroyers built for the US Navy. The first gearings were not ready for service until mid-1945 and saw little service in World War II. The class featured a more advanced design compared to their predecessors. They had improved anti-aircraft capabilities, enhanced the radar systems, and updated propulsion systems. They were also equipped with torpedoes, guns, and anti-submarine weaponry. They served in various roles including anti-submarine warfare, escort duties, shore bombardment, and anti-aircraft defense. Many of them saw action during the Korean War and the Vietnam War. 98 numbers have been built from 1945 to 1983. At number 7, the Algerian class minesweeper. The Algerian class minesweeper was a large group of minesweepers built for the Royal Navy RN and the Royal Canadian Navy RCN during the Second World War. These minesweepers could perform a range of roles beyond minesweeping, including convoy escort, anti-submarine patrols, and general patrol duties. They served in multiple theaters, including the Atlantic, Mediterranean, and Pacific. Some of these vessels were in service well into the post-war period. 110 ships of the class were launched between 1942 and 1944. At number 6, Bangor-class minesweepers. The Bangor-class minesweepers were a class of minesweeping vessels used by the Royal Navy and other Allied navies during World War II. These vessels were designed to clear naval minefields and perform other minesweeping and anti-submarine warfare duties. The Bangor-class minesweepers played a crucial role in keeping sea routes safe for Allied shipping during World War II. They operated in various theaters, including the Atlantic, Mediterranean, and North Sea. A total of 128 numbers were built. At number 5, the Buckley-class destroyer escorts. The Buckley-class destroyer escorts were a series of destroyer escort ships built for the United States Navy during World War II. They were valued for their anti-submarine capabilities and convoy protection. Their service during World War II contributed significantly to the Allied victory and the protection of vital supply lines. A total of 148 Buckley-class destroyer escorts were built making them one of the most numerous classes of escort ships during World War II. 
Out of 148, about 46 of the Buckleys were delivered to the Royal Navy under the Land Lease Agreement. At number 4, the Clemson class. The Clemson class destroyers were a series of United States Navy destroyers built during and just after World War I through World War II. They served in various roles including convoy escort during World War I and World War II as well as performing patrols and anti-submarine warfare duties. The class saw extensive service and played a significant role in naval operations during their active years. A total of 156 numbers were built just from 1918 to 1922. At number 3, the Fletcher class. The Fletcher class was a class of destroyers built by the United States during World War II. The long-range Fletcher class ships performed every task asked of a destroyer, from anti-submarine warfare and anti-aircraft warfare to surface action. They could cover the vast distances required by fleet actions in the Pacific and served almost exclusively in the Pacific theater of operations during World War II. Throughout the war, they sank 29 Japanese submarines. The U.S. Navy built 175 Fletcher-class destroyers from 1942 to 1944, playing a pivotal role in wartime operations. Their design was widely considered effective and successful. Up next is the Flower class of Corvette. They were a British class of Corvettes used during World War II by the Allied navies particularly as an anti-submarine convoy. They were often used in large numbers to escort convoys across the Atlantic Ocean and through dangerous waters like the North Atlantic. They contributed to the eventual Allied victory in the Battle of the Atlantic by helping to reduce the threat posed by German U-boats to vital supply lines. After World War II, many surplus flower-class vessels saw worldwide use in other navies, as well as civilian use. A total of 294 numbers have been built, making them the second most produced military ships in history. And now the most produced military ships in history, not counting U-boats, is the YMS-1 class minesweeper. There were minesweepers built for the United States Navy during World War II. These mine sweepers were designed to clear naval mines from harbors, coastal areas, and other waterways to ensure safe passage for Allied ships. Aside from mine sweeping, they are also used for various roles. They were armed with anti aircraft guns and light machine guns for combat duty. While the YMS 1 class mine sweepers were not heavily armored or armed, they served a vital function in the protection of naval assets and in ensuring the success of amphibious assaults. A total of 481 numbers were built, 